This morning we are talking about high school sports and health. Joining us is public speaker and advocate Kelsey Agasan with the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools who brought you here. Good morning. Good morning. How Thank are you? Thank you for having me. I'm good. All right. So for, real quick, tell us a uh, background about you real quick. Um, so I'm uh, Kelsey Agasan. I am from Fresno. I graduated high school from Alice Worsley High School in the Juvenile Justice Campus. I'm a former athlete um, and now I'm public speaking. And so how did you, why and how did you get into this? So as a teen and high schooler, I was uh, heavily involved in sports, soccer player, uh, cheerleader. I'm nationally ranked cheerleader and gymnast. Um, and I was suffering from head injuries unknowingly. Um, in 2017, I was in a minor car accident where I slammed my face on my steering wheel. Um, and then my son accidentally kicked me in my head and I actually suffered, or I uh, suffered two concussions back to back unknowingly and um, relapsed. I'm in substance abuse recovery. Um, and as a result of the relapse, I attempted suicide and suffered a brain bleed. So I went to community regional medical centers and there um, I, uh, Brenna Hughes, the lead acute care speech and language pathologist, she did a brain injury consult on me because I suffered a brain bleed. And as a result of that brain injury consult, we uncovered um, past brain injuries. Uh, she asked me a really simple question that doesn't get asked often here in the Valley yet. Um, how many times do you think you've hit your head? And as a result of that question, um, we were able to uncover that um, my sports were the triggering event that led to my substance abuse. Um, so, I start, uh, as a result of that, she asked me to start speaking across the Central Valley to share my story, to bring awareness to how brain injuries affect those um, struggling with substance abuse, mental health, and suicidal ideation. So I like this video, you've been speaking at a number of events. Uh, is, what do you suggest for parents? I mean, this might not be something that they think about, especially a lot of sports starting up, football's underway. Um, right. What's some things you want them to know about this? Um, you know, if your child's in a high-risk environment, to hit their head and they start struggling with uh, mood, possibly focus and attention in school, maybe um, their relationships are declining um, or they're struggling with drugs and alcohol, I really suggest parents when they're taking their children to the doctor to make sure that they're uh, bringing um, to the forefront to those physicians that their child may be in contact sports. Concussions do not just happen to those in sports. Um, they also happen to students who have been involved in physical altercations, um, gang violence, um, domestic violence. So if your child's been in a high risk environment to hit their head, um, I suggest for parents to advocate for those brain injuries, bring those to the forefront um, because it's really important that those brain injuries end in order to see improvement in mental, cognitive, and physical symptoms. Interesting. So tell us about the, uh, the butterfly inside. What is that? The butterfly inside is an acronym um, that also represents traumatic brain injuries. Uh, so TBI is the proper term for concussions now. Um, so I birthed the butterfly inside the speaking business. Um, out of my experience with traumatic brain injuries and being misdiagnosed mental health conditions as a 16 year old in recovery, um, my goal with that platform is to bring awareness and empower uh, the Central Valley on traumatic brain injuries. Um, if you're getting help for substance abuse um, or mental health, I really hope to um, empower others to start taking account of those brain injuries as a possible triggering factor to those issues. Um, with suicide and addiction on the rise, I really think this is uh, something that we can do to help combat those issues. It's something different that we don't see as often or as common. Um, so by speaking, I share my story to raise awareness to what I went through, what it was like receiving those brain injuries, and what I'm doing now. Perfect, Kelsey. We appreciate you coming in and sharing your story. It was very interesting. And for <laughs> more you. information, you just saw on your screen there, uh, thebutterflyinside.com. Thank you. All right.